Hello, everyone. This is Linda Jo Hefner, and uh, I'm the author of Tainting Seas, uh, My Sailor's Story. And tonight I'd like to uh, do a story about my experience related to the Vietnam War. Now, as a, wo a woman, I didn't serve in Vietnam, but it, that doesn't mean it didn't affect us. And I remember clearly the date that Bud and I sat in our living room on a black and white TV and watched while the news interrupted the regular scheduled program and had the picking of the draft numbers. And it began something like this. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read this to you. Okay. It's 8 p.m. and the show starts. Mayberry RDF will not be presented tonight, but will return next week at this time on its regularly scheduled station. And then a blue background appeared on the screen with the words, Special Report. And a reporter breaks in saying, The Draft Lottery, a live report tonight picking up picking of the dates of birth for the draft. There's a shuffling sound as three old men balance, shake, and then pour 366 blue capsules into a jar. Once complete, the microphone cackles as an overweight elderly man steps up to the random selection sequence for the induction for 1970. He announces, I will ask Congressman Congressman Bernie to come forward. There's a pause as a young man helps Congressman Bernie amble to the stage. The speaker continues. Congressman Bernie is the, representing the United States of the military affairs of the House. He's also senior Republican president who has been on the watchdog committee for this selective service system. And we're going to ask him to choose the first birthday. Congressman Bernie's hand reaches into the jar and pulls out a blue capsule, opens it, unrolls a piece of paper, and reads September 14th. The paper is attached to a large bar, uh, board uh, numbered 1 to, uh, three, 1 to 366, and a voice says September 14th. And I'm thinking, uh, September 14th, who do I know that's September 14th? And we both sighed a little sigh of relief because none of our brothers or relatives that we could think of were born on that date. So we didn't have a number one, and that was not the list you wanted to be number one on. But what really took me and made me angry is they took this person the first man that would be drafted and hung it on a board with a regular piece of tape, but they hung it crooked. I don't know why that bothered me, but September 4th was up there, 14th was up there crooked. And that bothered me. I wanted to, whisk, to reach in and straighten it out. And then Roger Mudd went on and said, this is Roger Mudd reporting from the Defense Department wardroom. Tonight is the lottery drawing of the national draft numbers. Why is this draft happening? With the Vietnam War's escalation, more troops are needed to fight. So President Johnson reinstated the military draft. To help the war effort, young men between ages of 18 and 26 years will be drafted into the military, quickly trained, and then sent to Vietnam. The last time the United States used a draft lottery was just over 27 years ago. I'll tell you what, we were glued to that television, worried about family and friends. And it was a hard day to go through, and I remember it well. And I was grateful. I was grateful as a woman that they were not drafting women. I don't have the temperament for it. I just don't have the strength. I'm not that strong of a woman. But I know there's many other ways I can help. But that was 
one of the things I remember about the Vietnam War was that time when they picked the draft. And it stuck in my brain because it was replacing Mayberry, you know, a regular show that we watched. And we watched it on a black and white TV. So that's how long ago it was. So guys, I'm going to send you all a big kiss, virtual hug, and say thank you for tuning in today. And we'll be back with more Vietnam stories today. Hopefully some that you haven't heard yet. And so that was just a news blast from the past. So guys, I'll talk to you later. Stay safe. Bye everybody and thank you for tuning in.